I'm, I'm very encouraged by the fact that the uh, family network is looking at the matter of birth registration and finding ways in helping uh, the churches get involved, but also finding ways in which churches can partner with governments. Or maybe, shall I put it the other way around, that governments can partner with churches to, 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 to do it, because we are in places that government isn't. And, and we can be an extension of, of their work. And registrations of people in various ways is almost something we do as a matter of course when people are coming for, for baptisms and we register them. So this is important. But it's not just important because we want to partner with government. It's important because we're concerned about people. And in this day and age where trafficking is an issue, uh, and abductions and cross-border things to do with either men, women, and children. So the registrations of citizens is, is, is important because it gives identity to the children and not only identity but nationality as well. And those have all kinds of other advantages that accrue to one as one grows up. And that the family network is interested in that and is pushing that is is commendable and, and we would like to uh, encourage the church worldwide to get involved in that and to encourage uh, non-governmental organizations that are involved in it and the international community in UNICEF and population the services that they have to be engaged and partner with the church in doing this and because the church is well placed to, to be an agent in this because we think every person is valuable and sometimes if you don't know where they are and who they are we, there is a sense in which their value is diminished mm -hmm. and registration uh, helps maintain that.